you guys it's Lindsay here welcome back to my channel inside the hem as you can see I've got a huge pile of fabric in front of me which can mean only one thing this is my plans video for October um, it's all the things that I plan to work on um, for the next month so without further ado I'm gonna jump right in the first thing is the um, one pattern, one week projects. Um, one pattern, one week is this initiative or this like, I don't know, just fun event on social media where you wear um, the same pattern um, all week long for one whole week. So that can either be one pattern hacked into different variations. Um, it can be different ways that you style a pattern. Like you could take something like a black skirt and style it many different ways. Um, however you want to do it. You just take one pattern and you wear that same pattern regardless of how many different versions of that you make into garments and you wear that all week long. So I have chosen to make seven different garments. <laughs> Um, which seems crazy, but I did choose a fairly simple top um, to make those seven garments. And I'm doubly challenging myself to only use fabrics in my stash. I cannot, under any circumstances, go out and buy fabrics for this challenge. So um, it's not as hard as it seems because I've got a, a rather large stash, which is the point of... Um, making myself use it up um, but you know it does limit me a little bit so I'm gonna be using M7660 I'm not gonna make all seven of them this month but I have already made one and a half of them so I'm wearing one now this is basically like a shortened version of F give or take it's like a combination of F and E Anyways, um, and then this is version A with those sleeves, <laughs> with those really fun sleeves. Um, I, I'm having some fit issues. Um, the sleeve was too long and so I took it all apart and I also took in um, this part of it because I felt like it was really big and then that posed some problems with this little bubble part. So I'm not 100% sure how this one's going to turn out. I mean, it's going to be wearable, but it might not be like my favorite top ever if you know what i'm saying um and then some other versions that i have planned that i want to get done this month is to make um let's see a dress so you can take any bodice and without too much um pattern hacking make it into a fit and flare dress you just have to like taper in the bodice um and add a skirt um, or you could just add a skirt that's the same width of the shirt already and then add an elasticized waist that's also a really easy hack to do and that looks really great in sweater knits so I might take this sweater knit and make an elasticized waist dress with I don't know one of the necklines whichever I'm feeling I do like this one I feel like it's very flattering and and really it was easy to do and then for this one I might actually put the work in to make it um, a fitted fit and flare um, with like a you know fitted waistband so those are the two that I want to do for this month um, fabrics this came from Joanne's clearance section like last year and I don't remember what I was gonna make with it why is it which is why it's still in the stash um, and this one came from fabric mart I think Fabric Mart or Fashion Fabrics. I don't get them confused all the time. I can't remember. But isn't it cute with its like gold bows? I just could not resist that. So, once I do that, I'll have one, two, three, four of them. And then the the week that it um that you post your seven garments or seven weight seven ways you are using the pattern I think is the very last week of November so I'll still have those few weeks of November to knock out the rest of them maybe I should make three in October hmm okay we'll see either way that's the plan to make um different tops and dresses I even have an idea to take the like one with the funnel neck and 
add a zipper and make it like a like a workout jacket and you know do the extended thing with the thumbs I don't know we'll see how much time I have otherwise I just might end up wearing the same top or dress twice in one, in one week okay so that's that next is so my style I am still trucking along with so my style um, if you saw my makes video then you know I finished the darling ranges dress um, which gets me up to, I think the only ones I'm missing now are the Briar Tee, the Valley Blouse, and the Yona Coat. Well, and then October's is the Hampshire Trouser. But I looked at that earlier and her sizing, her extra, extra large is still like three inches too small in the waist and the hip for me. Um, according to her sizing, I would be a 4XL in her pants, which I mean, if that's, it, if that's what it is, that's fine. The numbers and sizes don't matter to me, but I don't know. Something seems off about that. And I just haven't had a lot of success with pants patterns in general. Um, but especially indie companies. So I might skip the Hampton trousers. Would that be bad? I just don't want to spend the money on fabric or even if I decide to just muslin them like I don't even want to spend the time on something that I have like 20% confidence that it's going to come out right you know what I mean I don't know so we'll see what I decide about that but the briar tee I know last month I had that blue and silver stripe and a lot of you commented that y'all all liked it but the more I looked at it the more I was just like I don't think I'm gonna wear this that might go in the donation bin or I don't know maybe I'll just I don't know maybe I'll make a briar tee but I didn't want it to be my like official make for some my style instead I found this in the stash it's this really pretty dusty pink color which is like the color of the season so I thought it would just be more trendy um, and more wearable so I'm gonna make the briar tee out of this one this month I promise also the valley blouse i haven't made that one yet because i was struggling to find fabric um and although i really only wanted to sew from the stash for sew my style i have strayed away from it um for a couple of things well actually it's about half and half so i don't know but i ended up finding this really pretty i don't know what it is something from joanne it has this like diamond pattern on it so I was going to use that and then underline it with just this like crinkly gauze. So it'll be a white, you know, valley blouse, but that's okay. The pattern is like kind of boho anyways. So I figured just don't fight it. Just go for it. So that's what the bodice will look like layered together. So I think that that's really cute. So I got those things specifically for the valley blouse so that'll get made this month as well my friend amber and i she's so i sewed this on instagram if you have instagram um she is my real life friend she lives here in charleston with me she and i are going well not with me but she also lives here in charleston with her husband in like a separate place um she and i are going to the ballet this month so we went shopping at joanne together a couple weeks ago and for whatever reason we were in the like fancy shiny like event ball gown whatever section and she and I were like you know it would be really fun to make something really fancy something we wouldn't normally just wear but something for a special occasion so we said hey let's make something for the ballet so she got a really really pretty um it's like metallic gold and black um, is it jacquard? I think it's jacquard. And then I picked up this metallic um, brocade. And I spent a lot of time um, over the last few days muslining. Like, I muslined one pattern, two different bodices from there, didn't like it for this fabric. Then I muslined this pattern, two different bodices to decide which one I wanted, um, and ended up going with this one. So I have already made the shell of it. And the shell is really, really cute. Um, but as explained earlier um, in my makes video, <laughs> what what turns something from um, 
a work in progress to a year old work in progress and prevents it from being an actual make is that I never have lining fabric. I don't understand why. Every time I'm at the store, I'm like, oh yeah, I've got lining for that at home. No big I always think I have some and I get here and I either don't have enough or I don't have the right color or whatever. So here we are again. Um, I have ordered some. It should be here this week. So I will be able to finish this for the ballet. It does have a deadline, you know, so that'll help me get it done. But it is really pretty and I'm excited to wear it to the ballet, but also um, it would be a really great holiday if I get invited to any holiday parties, like for work or if my boyfriend and I go out somewhere. Um, I think it'll be really perfect for lots of different things. Um, the weather here in Charleston last year, I feel like it barely dipped below 60. So with like a jacket over this, I should be able to wear it like through the holidays. Um, fingers crossed. That's the weather I like anyways. Um, okay. So there's that, that is going to get finished this month. And then, um, again, if you saw the makes video, then you know that getting through some of these work in progress projects is like paramount. It's my biggest goal that I have for myself right now. Um, so I'm committing to one a week and, um, we'll see how that goes. I got two done in September, so we'll see what I can do in October. The first one is this, well, it's inside out. I don't even know if it's in a state where I can flip it right side out. Oh, okay. Um, basically... <laughs> I was feeling, I don't know, ironic or something, and I decided it would be really cool to have a cold shoulder sweatshirt, which I know seems like those are complete opposites. Wouldn't you want to be warm if you're wearing a sweatshirt, or wouldn't you want to be cool if you're wearing cold shoulder top? But I don't know. I guess I just thought the juxtaposition of those two things would be cool. Um, so this is where I've landed with it. It was a total hack job, a pattern hack job. Um, I took some McCall's pattern that had like the workings of a cold shoulder and did a bunch of pattern hacking to come up with this. So all I've got left to do is to get this neckband on and then hem everything and she will be done. So, um, or am I going to do bands? I don't know. I've got to make those decisions. So I'm really close on this, probably just a couple more hours worth of work and this one will be done. But the sweatshirt fleece is so cute. It came from Style Maker. It has like, I don't know, it's like Hawaiian tropical flowers on it. So maybe that's what made me think of cold shoulder when I saw it. Because it was like sweatshirt, but had like tropical vibe. I don't know. I just think it'd be really wearable in Charleston. I think it'll be really cute. So I want to finish that. And then I pulled these two out because they're in my work in progress bin. But I don't know why. <laughs> So I think it must be a fitting thing. I mean, this looks completely done to me. Um, and I just have no idea why it's in the bin. This is, I think, the Seamwork Astoria, possibly, that I turned into like a ballet wrap. But I don't know why it's in the work in progress bin. So I'm going to figure that out. And it'll either be a make or it's going to go in the garbage, one or the other. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with it. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But the fabric is really nice. I don't even know what the fabric is or where I got it, but it feels great. I hope it's not stretched out being on this hanger for so long. Anyways, so there's that. I must not have had very much of it because I put a seam in the center back of the... This is an old work in progress. Um, and then this one is this super cute coat. Um, the fabric came from... Oh Lord, heart maybe? Hearts fabrics? Um, and like I think I'm done. Um, I think all I have to do is some of the finishing work on the inside. I think what happened was is the pattern called for shoulder pads. And so I was like, oh, okay, I'll get some of those and see what it looks like. And then I did and I didn't like them. So I just need, I literally just need to attach this facing to the sleeve and she will be done. But it's so cute. So this is like literally 30 minutes of work and this one will be out of the fabric stash as well. 
And then for the fourth one, I am going to choose one of those, one, one of many, many patterns that I have that is all cut out, but not actually sewn. Like, how does that happen? Does, do you guys do that? Or am I alone on this island? I don't know if, because in the old sewing space, you know, I had to set everything up and then put it all away, um, like as needed you know if I needed to cook then I had to move everything out of the way so I think that's why that was happening is because I was like oh yeah I, I need to cook something so I gotta pack all this stuff up and then I just got like you know distracted from the project or like another more exciting thing came up I don't know but I have like lots of projects that I've cut out and I have never sewn um so I'm gonna choose one of those I've got so many um but there's a lot of really cute things in there so I'm going to do that. So it sounds like a lot, um, but if you think about the works in progress being like either most of the way done, halfway done, or like at least the cutting done, you know, you can knock out several projects in um, a couple of days. Um, so that's the plan on that. My biggest concern is the Sew My Style projects. September's was a coat, the Yona coat. And I've been going back and forth, back and forth on whether or not I was going to make it because so my style is all about adding things to your wardrobe that you need. And we just don't wear coats that often here. You know, it like doesn't get that cold. So I don't need a closet full of coats. I really only need a couple and that gets me through. It's the same thing that's holding me up on the Hampshire trouser. It's like, I don't really wear pants a lot. Um, and... I haven't had a lot of success in making them, you know, but if it doesn't really fit into my wardrobe anyways, then doesn't that defeat the purpose of Sew My Style? So I might try and adapt Sew My Style for my lifestyle and the climate we have here. Meaning I might make like a second um, Saunio cardigan, or maybe I'll find another like lightweight coat, like the trench from Deer and Doe, the Lucerne Trench, that seems totally wearable here. Um, and then for the trousers, like maybe instead of making pants, I'll make a skirt or I don't know, something else. So that I'll have 12 garments at the end, but there'll be 12 garments that I'll actually really want to wear and fit into my wardrobe. So we'll see this is how plans go right like you think about them and then you um work on some and you don't on the others so we'll see what ends up happening but let me know what you're planning in october if you have an event you're sewing for or if you've got a big project you've been working on or if you are making the hampshire trouser let me know how it's going um i'd like to know especially from those that might not fit into the size chart um what is What's the verdict on the pants? Um, anyways, but that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Sunny, the superstar of these videos. And I say bye-bye. <laughs>